We now have more than a thousand subsystems. And so to try and organize those subsystems, to make it a little bit easier to understand their relationships and to identify uh, groups of subsystems, we've organized them into a simple hierarchy. The hierarchy has three levels, and let me just give you a simple example. So the very top level might be, for example, carbohydrate metabolism. And so we would call this level zero. Within carbohydrate metabolism, we have different uh, groups of pathways that are working together. So for example, we might have central carbohydrate metabolism. And within central carbohydrate metabolism, we might have, for example, the TCA cycle. We might also have maybe organic acids, because they fall under carbohydrates. And we might also have the di and oligosaccharides, also falling under carbohydrate metabolism. So in our hierarchy, each of these is related to carbohydrate metabolism. Within central carbohydrate metabolism, we have the TCA cycle. Within organic acids, we might have malonate. And within the di and oligosaccharides, we might have, for example, lactose utilization. So we have our level zero hierarchy. We have our level one classification. And then we have our subsystem itself. And so the TCA cycle is a subsystem. Malonate utilization is a subsystem. Lactose utilization is a subsystem. And then within the subsystem, we're going to have a series of functions. So for example, within the TCA cycle, we're going to have, for example, citrate synthetase, one of the critical enzymes of the TCA pathway. And it has an EC number associated with it. And we might also have aconitate hydrase. And its EC number is 4.2.1.3. Similarly, as we talked about, within the lactose utilization subsystem, we might have the four genes that we've discussed, LAC-I, LAC-Z, LAC-Y, and LAC-A. Now, in the case of lactose utilization, we don't call them by their gene names, lac like I, lac like Z, lac like Y, lac like A. We call them the lactose repressor, beta-galactosidase, the lactose permease, and the lactose transacetylase. But this notion of having a hierarchy has really helped to organize the, the subsystems. But one of the things that I want to warn you about is that it's a very simple hierarchy, so that lactose utilization in our system can only appear within the di and oligosaccharides and can only appear within the carbohydrate metabolism. In computer science, we usually have much more complex hierarchies, typically using something like a directed acyclic graph, where lactose utilization could belong to one or more of the upper level sub uh, classifications. And likewise, di and oligosaccharides could belong to one or more of the upper level classifications. But within the seed, we chose to keep it simple to just have a two-level hierarchy that really allows us to simply classify the subsystems into what they're doing.